Welcome everybody. We have some Thunderbolt 5 news I want to share with you. Now we found this a few days ago on video cards and the announcement is, and this is from an article on Antec that will take you through some information. Intel Thunderbolt 5 teased with increased bandwidth. And all of this came about because Intel made a presentation and they had over their shoulder a slide which, you know, it's up for conjecture whether we're supposed to see it or not. But anyway, and Antec did before that got pulled down. And from that, we can gather some information and we'll go to that article and take a look. According to the article on Anantec, an Intel executive posts a Thunderbolt 5 photo, then deletes it. And the whole story is about 80 gigabit and PAM3. Now we have to have some perspective. We're still working on Thunderbolt 3, trying to get that all sorted out. We got it working. Now we got Thunderbolt 4, and we've gone through all the issues with how that can be done, AMD or Intel. And yes, Thunderbolt 4 does work on AMD, the ASUS B550 Pro Art Creator, but that's the only one we're aware of right now that does. But because of all the pinout, uh, let's take a look at some specs and go through what we've been dealing with. We're going to show you a link on Windows Central, and this is a screen capture that they have taken from Thunderbolt, which is from Intel. Okay, how is Thunderbolt 4 different? And remember, this is about Thunderbolt 5. Okay, let's look at the differences, the similarities, and the requirements. Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 3 both use PCI Express 3.0. Both are 40 gigabit. Wattage is the same. The difference in the two is the bandwidth, bi-directional. That's the big deal. Now, when we go to Thunderbolt 5, we're not looking at 40 gigabit, we're looking at 80 gigabit. Now my question, let's take a look at this in some perspective. Okay, we're on uh, PCI Express 3. We use four PCI Express 3.0 lanes. PCI Express 3.0 is good for 30 gigabit, yet they broadcast it and say it's good for 40 gigabit. Okay, if that's the case, what are we going to see that's going to be maintained when we go to Thunderbolt 5? That's my question. I would expect they'll still use just four lanes, but I would expect, based on the throughput and the bandwidth, um, I got my doubts about seeing that on PCI Express 4. That's the point, which means PCI Express 5, but I could be wrong. I don't want to get any more into it. <clears throat> I just wanted to mention this because I think it's important. It's relevant. Shadow of things to come. And because one thing leads to something else, we'll also have a link up on Tech Gauge that gives some information about PCI Express 4 versus PCI Express 5, which is, I think, where that's going to go. I could be wrong. It's a point for conjecture, but I just want to say, hey, Thunderbolt 5, we hear you. We're listening. We're watching. We're waiting. And we are uh, all eyeballs. So I want to thank you for watching Builder By. My name is Gil Boyd. We're on to the next video.